Alright, welcome back to another web development video where I'll show you how to build modern websites using HTML5, CSS3, and a little bit of JavaScript. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you really quickly how to add uh, an icon font into Webflow. Uh, I had to look on a forum in order to find this, but it does work well. And so I have a little setup here where we're going to put our font um, icon in here and then we have just a little bit of text so this you know it's a pretty common pattern and what we need to do is uh, we need to have an icon font to start out with I really like this one it's called the material design iconic font and it's based off of Google's material uh, design icons um, if you can find places to put it in the head they do have a CDN uh, but you can also uh, just download it. so we download all the files <clears throat> and then, uh, that's in our, our zip file so I just open that up we unzip it and then now we have uh, two folders here uh, we have the CSS files and then we have the actual font files so you can see that there's a WAF, WAF2 true type SVG and EOT um, and when we go to Webflow the place we go to add this in is we click up here in the corner and we go to our project settings and then the project settings you find the fonts and, and you could always choose from a Google font but if you want to upload uh, a font icon I don't believe there are any icon sets there so you can see here you can upload any web fonts uh, for maximum support to TrueType, OTF, EOT, and WAF. Uh, we only have the TrueType, EOT, and WAF, so that's what we're going to upload. So you click on Upload. Uh, we navigate to our files. What's it called? It's called here. And then we click on our fonts. And then I'm just going to click everything except for the SVG uh, because it doesn't accept that so then I click open and it begins to upload all of our fonts uh, I'm just gonna do the normal one straight across um, I'm just gonna do a normal uh, weight as well and we have all these re ready uh, right now and then we have to actually go through and we have to upload them so we just click on each one and we begin to upload the font to the server and now they're installed uh, and you can see you can see how big they are and you're able to go through and edit if you wanted to change uh, the font weight for some reason or you can delete them if you wanted to delete one so now we're ready to go I don't believe there's anything else that we need to do so let's go back into uh, our project <clears throat> Okay, and the thing that we need to do is, uh, let's see, if we look over here, we can see that it's been included, right? The material design iconic font has actually been included in our typography list. Um, okay, and one of the things that I was told was that you need to go in and actually copy the icon itself so you're not copying normally we copy the code uh, in order to bring that into um, into our web design so when you click on it you would normally bring in the code like this but whenever uh, we're doing these icon fonts in Webflow they want you to actually come in and uh, well, I had to go to a different part of the application I had to go to the cheat sheet and when you go to the cheat sheet then you can copy you see how I'm just highlighting because uh, you can highlight the word and you can highlight the font so I highlight it and I copy it I go back to Webflow I take my uh, block here and then I just um, I'm just gonna paste uh, that's not gonna work let me get a a piece of text. Let's get a text block and then I'm just going to do control V 
and that's going to um, put my icon in there but it's not reading it so I have to highlight it and then I have to choose the font okay so you see that's been brought in uh, one of the common things that I saw in the thread uh, in the forum is that you get this italic font which is weird uh, so it, for some reason it automatically uh, defaults to italic so you just click on <coughs> uh, what do we have here we have a couple things we have the actual italic font character and then we have the text block that we put it in the text block is not going to be italic so you have to make sure you get down to the character level and then you take it off of italic and now uh, you have this little font and you can make this any size that you want and you can make it any color that you want and that's the way that the uh, the font section works uh, with the italic font I mean with the uh, bringing um, a font icon set into Webflow if you have any questions uh, please leave them down in the comment section below I'm happy to get to them. Uh, make sure you go back through this. It, it takes a couple of times to do it. This works with Font Awesome. It works with Icomoon. It, it works with uh, any font icon set that gives you a true type font uh, file or an EOT or a WAF file. You can pull those into Webflow. So hopefully this helps you going forward. And uh, make sure that you watch any other uh, videos on my channel. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and uh, if you think that this is share worthy please share it with others uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time